I've got myself in a situation where my ball is half buried in the sand in a fried egg lie. Fried egg lie, you can see what it is. The ball is sitting about halfway down into the sand. Kind of a tricky shot because behind the ball, you can see there's a buildup of sand. You know, I'm about 20 meters from the flag here and I'd like to, number one, get this ball out. That's the first thing. In fact, we've got a really simple way of thinking about this. Rule number one, get ball out. Rule number two, get ball onto the green. Rule number three, don't forget rule number one. So in this case, I've got to make sure I get it out. I've got two clubs here. A lot of people will go into a sand shot like this and they'll take a sand iron. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I've actually got a nine iron here and I'm going to, a nine iron in this case will be about a club because what happens a lot of the time when people use sand irons is they make a steep swing and they dig too deeply into the sand. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a shallower strike here. I haven't got a very high lip. So I want to strike this ball or behind the ball, get it clearing this lip, which I can do with a nine iron and actually use the slope to run the ball down towards the pin. So I'm going to eliminate the sand iron out of the shot and go with the nine iron. So I'll put that over there. Okay, playing this shot, I'm going to play the ball towards the middle of my stance. And with this nine iron, I'm just going to open the club face up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is as the club, as you look at it yourself there, it, that we, we'll be looking at 12 o'clock. I'm going to open the club face slightly and just re-grip the golf club. I'm going to hold down towards the bottom of the grip again. And what I'm going to do is play the ball, as I said, towards the middle of my stance. And I'm just going to lean a little bit into my left side. So just like this and brace myself. So when I play this shot, what I'm not going to do is try to chop as much as it's quite often taught. I'm going to sweep it a little bit more. I'm aiming to take out the sand right there. I want to take all that sand out, but remember the ball's only halfway down. So this club can easily get under that ball and move it forward. I'm going to make a golf swing with less wrist cock, and I'm just going to hold the club low in the sand on the follow through. If I can keep this club under the lip in the follow through and let the club move with the slope, the ball's going to come out and run towards the flag. Let's give it a go. Set up, ball middle of stance, club face slightly open, lean a little into my front side, half wrist cock. Keep the club low in the follow through. I've hit the ball about 10 feet from the hole. You can see I've taken a, not a huge deep hole. I've swept it out of, the, out of that lie because it was only half buried. So I don't have to go and try and hack it out and create a big hole, which quite often leaves the ball in the bunker. Club face slightly open, keep the club low in the follow through, let the loft do the job. And I've got myself in a position to make, you know, hit a short putt, hopefully make it. 